We're we're testing My things job. out, guys. We're testing <laughs> things out. This is the first time you know I've actually been like the actual like. They have such a nice boot. stream prog Whoa. stream broadcaster at PP. Okay. All right, we're starting. Game. Oh, I've, I actually have to do that too. Uh, Game one. Yeah, I have to. Oh, shiny's the Titan player card. Okay, I chat. Okay, Talonflame, Garchomp, Rudimentary Lead. Ooh, back. Yeah, we're just changing the names. I forgot. Oh, banger soundtrack, banger, banger soundtrack. This is, oh, this isn't Cassiopeia. Yes. Okay. What a, what, there, there are so many good OSTs in this game. Oh, I yeah. love it. It's nuts. Okay, so what do we, what do we got? So we got Garchomp and Talonflame on the side. Corbin Theo, backs. and then Corvin backs. Oh, that's interesting. Ooh, that T tar in the back. Ooh, what's he cooking? Don't want to talk too much about like the actual moves until they're selected because oh, they yeah. might be able to hear us. Granted, they have their headphones in on their side, so. But I mean, Gar Garchomp Talonflame is like a tail as old as time. You almost oh, yeah. always see that pairing tail and EQ spam. But That's dangerous. Yeah, seeing the Baxcalibur is gonna be interesting. Talon, uh, Corbin Knight switching out into is this. this? Is this T-Tar? I think it was uh, T-Tar. Yeah, yeah. T-Tar coming in, setting up okay. the, setting up the sand. Assuming that uh, Theo Tran did not have uh, the Obama Snow, the sand will be on here. Terra first coming in through the uh, Garchomp. Seal. Oh okay. right, yeah. So I know for a fact that. Uh, oh wait, no. This is this is not Jay. This is Theo. So Theo having the Terra Steel. Normally it's oh, Terra Ground. Oh, Terra for Jay too. Terra Poison. I think. Was it Terra Poison? I think is so. it for Max Caliber? I think we. Yeah, I think we saw. Okay. Selected it. Yeah. Terra Poison Max Caliber. Okay. 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 Third question is, what does Theo do here? Does he rip an EQ? Does he have? He it? probably could. Okay, so. Oh. Odd protect there. No, I mean you're already faster guaranteed than pretty much everything unless your guard oh, jumps like does super slow. Oh, he an EQ. Wow. Yeah, this EQ is going to do so this much damage. damage. I mean, the, I think both will survive. Oh, oh. my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. You got to remember how strong Garchomp is for a second. I mean, I figured that Tyranitar would survive just because of how bulky naturally oh, yeah. it is. But yikes. Now the, that it's slower than both Talonflame yeah. and Chomp, that T-Tar is not really going to do any much here. Yeah, and you got to think carefully about that because um, if you're if you're using Terra Ground, uh, not, Terra, not Terra Ground, Terra Poison back Excalibur, I mean, you got to worry about getting hit by an Earthquake or any type of ground type move like Savage Tantrum as well, single target. Definitely. But, I mean, are you really going to take like a Dragon Claw? I also don't, we don't have the team sheets uh, oh, from, yeah. well, we, we can get those in just a second, but Especially with Wave Rush, if you Terra Poison and then take like, something like a Bulldoze from Tinglu, that's still going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wave Rush, it doubles the damage against you. Thank you very much. Ooh. So we got Team Sheets here. Awesome. Oh, we are cooking now. So the, oh, the Garchomp is actually um, he withdraws twice Chomp. banded. Interesting. That was Outrage, too. That's that's base. I, I didn't want to spoil it. That's, I was like. I, I mean, they know. Yeah, they, they, know. <laughs> they know. Just just chat doesn't know. <laughs> so Fluttermane with the booster energy for the special attack, that's actually going to be good information. Here. I didn't think, he, I thought he would sack that, to be honest. But I, I mean, team. you kind of need to get something oh, in. Oh, back. This is just a well, the core the core walls out the Garchomp like pretty hard. True. Um, with the move set, you got Stomping Tantrum, EQ, Rock Slide, Outrage. Your only effective move against a Carbonite is Basically Rock Slide, rock slide. but like uh, it's not really good. No. And against Jacob Littner's Carbonite, it has Roost, so you can basically just keep roosting up, and you'll never you know actually get anywhere. While the Carbonite kind of being in an awkward position right now. I mean, you're gonna take probably like some sort of Shadow Ball into. If, That's if Theo lot. has assurance, it's gonna hurt. Let's see if it does. Let's find out. Does it does. does. Yeah. yeah. So that shadow ball going into Corv is really gonna hurt in the first place. Plus that assurance is double damage now. Yeah. You you also just have to be careful because it's probably gonna be Fluttermane, Corviknight, or Rotom, and King Gambit will always go last. So if, you know if you do want to get this. Corviknight or Rotom off the field, you're going to have to sack the Fluttermane. Yeah, that's exactly. a lot of potential damage. You know you got to get rid of that Corviknight first. Yep. Theo knowing Jake has Iron Head as well. That's yep. going to be scary. Oh, missed too. Unfortunate miss. Tailwind's coming up. That's going to be big because that, that really might make play. Rotom faster than this Fluttermane because we already confirmed that it's the special attack variant, so it is definitely not super fast. It's not max speed Fluttermane. Yep. So you have to, you have to watch out um, if your Rotom is actually invested high enough. 
Sand damage chipping through. We did see the order, so Rotom will be guaranteed faster than the Flutter main. Um, going for the next three turns with the Tailwind up. Jay with the double target, too. Didn't try for a second Willow on that King Gambit. You can kind of leave King Gambit alone because King Gambit... I mean, so it's the Assault Fist variant. It has Sucker Punch, uh, Low Kick Assurance, and Iron Head. It's not really doing that much damage. Sure. Like, you want to burn it, but you don't need to burn it now. Yeah. If you, if you, because the, the the big threat is getting the Flutterman off the field. Exactly, I, I would say. And you've already used, and it's not like you can tear a fairy to get damage, because then you're not really doing any flut damage to Flutterman anyway. So exactly. you just kind of have to deal with it. So just waiting on one of the players to choose Thunderbolt yep, and it's two Flutterman. Yeah, let's do another. Good damage. That's pretty good, but it didn't nice. really matter because, I mean. <laughs> Yeah, even just dies to Iron Head anyway. even bulky, <laughs> even bulky Flutter mains can't really take an Iron Head from Stab Carbonite very well. Exactly. So, Rotom with the Citrus here, it's yeah. Back up. I mean, you already know that King Gambit has the Assault Fest. You can't protect. You. I mean, you already know it doesn't have protect anyway. So, yep. I, you know, maybe using the Willow Wisp into the uh, King Gambit slot, which just would have been a little bit better, more optimal. Um, just getting your value off. Because what else does this Rotom have? On its move list, it, so it has na oh, so no protect. It's nasty Thunderbolt, plot. Hydro Pump, Nasty Plot. So maybe, yeah, I don't know. I don't agree with the Thunderbolt, but uh, I mean, the question is, do you? You can obviously burn Chomp here. You can't really hit it too hard with Thunderbolt or Corviknight, even for that matter. It's like the most you can do. If Roosting, you get rid of that flying type. So if it does try and rip an EQ, then Corviknight will get hit by that. Well, you can't you do. do the EQ because the Rotom exactly. is Levitate, and you have the flying type Corviknight. With no Terra potential because you did already use the Terra on, that on the back caliber, which yep. died. So this, I'd imagine we're gonna see a uh, rock slide yeah, from the Garchomp. I don't think you have any other option unless you wanna, unless you wanna like hard rip a outrage. Yeah, that's what I was just gonna say. <laughs> I, I, I've done that with Dragonite. I've done that with Dragonite. Okay, Corviknight coming in back into the back. Probably just gonna sack away the Tyranitar coming in with like 19 HP. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Garchomp actually switching. Art okay. switching out on the turn Still that I just swapped. Talent? Oh, interesting. Well, you well you know for a fact, yeah. yeah. So that, that's not. I mean, that's not a guarantee because you also could get Willowed on the King Gambit spot. Assurance yeah. just coming through again, doing a little bit of damage. Like Sand tries. actually oh. going away, so Sand is not going to be up probably for the remainder of the game. Uh, you know. If, if you just waited one more turn, you might have been able to get Sand in for again. But, you know, at that point, you're taking more damage on your Rotom than you probably want to. Yep. So, a little bit scary. Fiosa, remember here, Talonflame doesn't have Gale Wings anymore because that little chip damage it took. Yes, yes. Yeah, Gale Wings broken. I don't know if Tailwind is still up. It's probably up for one more turn. Yeah, so, one more. speed tiers might be a little bit different than normal. Rotom switching back out into the Corviknight, just bringing it back in the back. The Corvette, I believe, is still full health. Yes, uh, 204 HP. So, oh, shouldn't have said that. That, that's that. Don't want to, don't, don't want to give the misinformation. Uh, Talent Flame goes for the protect. Not really sure what that's for. Uh, Sucker Punch is going to be coming out into the Tyrantar, even at the low health at 90% and resisted. And bulky ass Tyrantar, it still will get up the KO. So, pretty much a wasted turn for Jacob Littner right there. Has to bring in the Corviknight at this. Uh, not Corviknight. Bring back in the Rotom into the other slot. See. So now it's a two v three in favor of Jacob. Yeah, I mean it's still not looking good because you haven't burned the the King Gambit yet. You've been so targeting the Will O' Wisp into the Garchomp slot, and it, it didn't really work out that well. Yeah. And with no uh, with no body press on core, doing damage into King Gambit and Garchomp. Ooh, yeah. That's gonna be a rough one. Yeah, and Tailwind's gone too, so it's not like you have that speed potential with Rodom. Yeah. And counter Tailwind coming up with the Town Flame. So now this. This Bishop actually might be faster. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be faster with the Assurance. That's going to take out the Rotom yep. Wash. And I'd imagine this is going to be a forfeit soon for Jacob Blinder and Theo will take game number one. Counter Tailwind coming through. Not really going to be doing that much. This Talon Flame will still be faster. And I mean, it'll, the Corbin Knight will be faster than the King Gaiman anyway, but there's no way you can be able to break it. You would, you'd basically just have to Roost Spam. Yeah. I again think Theo, Theo and again as well. and again. Oh, something. Yeah, he's flying with fly form. Yeah, I didn't realize. It. Oh my God! Good. Is that a crit? No, Woo. that there's no crit. That just That's that scary. just kills. Game number one to Theo Ooh. Tran. Dang. Life orb town flame. Yeah, scary stuff. Wow. Whew.
Yeah, going up against the O in that uh, yeah. streamed match. So I didn't expect that flare blitz to one shot, and it, it did. One shot what? Corv. It, it's oh, just damn. Gone. It's just gone. Damn. That's, I mean, we it's all scary. forget how much potential damage Talonflame has just because when we think of Talonflame, we think of it mostly supportive, you know, mostly using uh, Brave Bird as its primary ability just because it gets those Gale Wings boosted priority damage off first. But Flare Blitz being 120 base, stab, life orb damage, pro uh, we can't really say for certain uh, if, if it's like max attack. But exactly. like, imagine if it was max attack. You're, you're chunking so many things. I mean, yep. base 90-ish attack is like pretty respectable Especially on a support mod. Especially for stab Flare Blitz mod. I, yeah. think that's, I think that's pretty good. I mean, it's not going to be as strong as something like, um, what's it called? Like a Incineroar. Actually, you know what? Actually, might yeah. be like actually more stronger than an Incineroar because you can think about it. Like Incineroar has like base 110 attack or I around so, that, yeah. but you're not investing into attack as nearly as much as you probably will be. But you're probably getting more attack at level 50 with you know a level 50 Talonflame than you are with a level 50 Incineroar. Yeah. With the with the I... with the like the max like attack if you had that on top of the life orb damage like it's that's that's a lot it's of scary. damage. It's Ooh. so good. Okay, going to game two. See if there are any adjustments. I didn't realize. So the the Tyranitar, I think, was a different mon before for Jake and Liner. He had a different oh, really? Pokemon. Yeah. Huh. I did not fight against this Tyranitar once. I'm pretty sure it was different. Because Scream Screamtail, Excalibur, Corviknight, Rotom Wash, Fluttermane were all on the same team. But I'm pretty sure the Tyranitar was something else. I just don't remember at this time. Um, this is the first time I've seen Theo Trans team. So what Terra is Tyranitar for Jacob anyway? Flying. Flying. Gotcha. Yeah, pretty standard. So it's it's like your standard assault vest set with Rock Slide, Crunch, Low Kick, Terra Blast. Um, you know, Rock Slide pretty, for yeah, Rock Slide standard. for stab, Crunch for stab damage, and you know, I guess for also Fluttermane pretty good yeah uh low kick for bisharp and just any other like ting lu ting lu is actually really really heavy so low yeah, kick is actually low super good damage. damage and terror terror blast is just good coverage against amoongus this uh, is the lead that scares me the garchomp and oh interesting yep. okay so talonflame and iron bundle on the opposing side and we also have tyranitar and rotom wash for jacob lindner Let's see how this goes Really decent lead for both players. Theo can immediately threaten, bundles freeze dry onto Rotom, but then Jacob also redirects back with Rock Slide on both of his Pokemon for mm -hmm. super effective damage. And we can confirm if Snow from the Obama Snow is going to be coming in the back from Theo Trans side. So we'll have to oh, see. I didn't even think yeah, about Talonflame that. That's is switching. Talonflame is guaranteed faster than everything on the field. You know, outside of Tailwind anyway. So you could definitely get a good chunk of damage, but you also have to be careful. So let's see how it's going. Talonflame likely to go first. It's actually going to be oh, sending... Oh, that switch in? Yeah, the switch out for Theotran. It is going to be the Garchomp oh, wow, switching okay. in. The hard switch in for the Garchomp. And then it should be Iron Butter. Goes for the Protect. So defensive pivot for Theotran trying to set up a different lead here. Thunderbolt going into the Garchomp. That is going to be actually going to the Delibird. So either way, if you try to use Thunderbolt into either Mon, you're either getting the Protect on the Delibird. <laughs> Delibird. Iron Bundle, <laughs> or thing, you were, or you were getting the um, the not not even effective uh, into yeah, the Garchomp. Was... Critical hit chance going into the Garchomp doesn't really matter about much. Sand chip damage going into the Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle is not oh, oh Iron Bundle is not Focus Sash, so it doesn't really matter. It's actually what yeah. Never Melt Ice. Yep, I looked at Excuse that team sheet and me? I was pondering. Everything. Excuse me? Yeah. That's I... <laughs> crazy. So there's no icy one here. So the moveset is Protect, Freeze Dry, Hydro Pump, Blizzard. Um, normally you see icy wind to try to gain speed control overall. But I mean, with the Talon Point, you're probably getting speed control no matter what. So having Freeze Dry is just single target coverage, you know, beats Palafin. Blizzard damage is insane with uh, Snow and, you know, it's Obama Snow on the side. So we Rotom... see Garchomp not switch out here. Yep. So that is going to be the Corviknight switching in. Most likely to try to check this Garchomp, but the Freeze Dry going forward. into the slot. I like that. I mean, you're covering for any potential switch in on top of, you know, you're already hitting Rotom Wash with Freeze Dry for super effective damage. Oh. The flinch from the Rock Slide going into the Tyranitar, that's going to be a little unfortunate. Probably would have gotten a decent amount of damage off. We don't know what, I mean, at least I wasn't looking what the Tyranitar was going for in that slot. 
So, let's see. You've, you've just taken more than half damage on the Corviknight on the switch in. You might not be able to get a roost off in time. You have to worry about a new, you know, a, a, another potential double up. You don't have protect. So the switch in might not have been that great, but I mean, if you left it in, if you left the Rotom in, you were taking a free strike for free. Exactly, and then paired with that Bandit Rock Slide, I think it wouldn't have done. Would have been scary for for Jacob's side. Yep. I think Corv goes. Corv does go down here. Yep. You gotta deal with the same situation. Is it gonna get another flinch? Thirty flinch. percent chance on the Tyranitar, and it does. Wow. The double flinch Ooh. coming out from the Tyranitar. That is super unfortunate. The Iron Bundle still taking chip damage from that sand damage every turn. That was and the now we time. see the Screamtail come out. Okay, so here's here's the the fun part about Screamtail. This is the <laughs> Encore Disable set um, with the Booster Energy Speed variant. So you're oh. basically outspeeding everything outside of Tailwind naturally with the Booster Energy buff. And now this might potentially outspeed that bundle, giving that. Oh no! Yeah, almost certainly. So you got uh, Play Rough Encore Disable How on Screamtail. Howl is actually a really good tech for Corviknight and Vexcalibur and Tyranitar specifically, but you most likely want to disable the Garchomp. Oh yeah, uh, because it's, because it's it's banded. Uh, but you also have to consider, you know, if if I ban if I, you know, disable into the banded Garchomp, are they just going to switch out? Is that a wasted turn? Exactly. Am I just going to get hit by the, the Iron Bundle here on the opposing side for Theo Tran? You got it's a bunch of different considerations, but and Theo still has that Hydro Pump on Bundle, too. So that Tyranitar is still being threatened. Yeah, so we're going to be seeing a switch out for Theo Tran, bringing the Garchomp back into the back, King Gambit switching in. And most likely, the. Yep, yep. Screamtail going for Disable, going into the Garchomp slot. Not going to be effective at all. Hydro Pump coming Pump through. Into. Yep. So with the Assault Vest plus the Sand buff increasing Tyranitar's special defense by 50%, that is not going to be able to do that much Hydro Pump damage from. The Iron Bundle. Rock Slide coming in through for both targets. Super effective damage on the Iron Bundle. Still not able to get the KO. Even with the chip damage from the Sand, still living for one more turn. But now you have to live with the fact that the Iron Bundle is probably going to be going down here. You're going to have to bring in the Garchomp again on the... Uh, well, probably not. You saw four Pokemon, so you, you might be able to play around a bit. And we saw from that game one that, from this range, that sucker might kill. It could. Oh yeah, because it's in the it's in the same area and it's a salt vest, so there's no protector, no status moves. So Suckerman should be able to get this KO, assuming that Tyranitar is still staying on the field, not withdrawing, or you know if the King Gambit didn't go for Sucker Punch at all. Um, and you're still faster on oh the Iron oh, Bundle the is switching. Switch. That's a hard switch. You're you're you still want to save it. that. Charchon, oh, okay. interesting. We're gonna oh, see a Terra. Nice. Interesting. Oh. So I think that's Linkimon's side. Yeah, I think that's... Yeah. Yep. So this is the Terra Water Screen Tail. Interesting. So the reason for the Terra Water is mostly just to resist all the Steel-type attacks yep. that come that through. So yeah, all the Iron Heads yeah, from like all these different Pokemon, and uh, especially like Gold Angle Make It Rains. Oh. Oh, what was that miss on? That was on Chomp. Oh no. And the, ooh, the low, low kick, kick just one shot. Out. Jesus. Woo. So, uh, Sandstorm going away. Not able to come back up unless the Tyranitar hard switches out and brings it back in subsequently later. But now we're going to see something interesting. The Town Flame is back on field and it has, it has max HP. Wings. So it is guaranteed one priority bracket faster than the Screamtail. No protect on Screamtail, so you kind of have to eat a hit if you want to switch out. You still have something in the back, but not really good luck still. No, especially with that speed boost. Jacob had advantage over that bundle, but... Yeah, so if you're using the Garchomp, the Garchomp hasn't used a move yet. So you can still... Wait, no, has it hasn't used a move? No. No, a hard switch. Yeah. yeah, so Garchomp can still get a move off first before it gets disabled. So you want to make this turn count, because you you know you got to make sure, am I using the right move to get as much damage as possible? Terra Steel, Steel Terra coming Garchomp. back through. I wonder what the reason. Oh, you know what the reason for? It's to block from the player play rough, so you can you can survive one good turn. So Tailwind coming through, no offensive output damage coming from the Talon Flame with the Life Orb, just sending up the Tailwind. Get the guaranteed. The, the outrage, outrage coming through that is actually going to hit because there is no more Fairy type on this Screamtail side. The Sable immediately coming right after that is so going to be no locking. No more outrage. Yeah. The outrage. Like connect. 
Yeah, that's going to do so much damage. Town the Town Flame gone. is gone. Super effective hit. Times four effective. That is gone. Gets a Tailwind up, which is going to be outspeeding pretty much everything on Jake Linder's side. That is going to be uh, especially important. Now that the Iron Bundle is coming back in, is going to be faster than this. Then it's going to be faster than the Scream Tail, yep, and it's actually a water type, so it's yep, actually going to be super effective. Hurt. Yeah, and I mean, so the pr the thing here now is you have Iron Bundle is going first. You get the freeze dry off onto the Scream Tail, guaranteed. Yep. You can't bring in the, the Run and Wash because it's also a water type, exactly. really bad. And if you got the KO on one of them, you still have the Garchomp struggle damage, and it's still at, you know, it's 75, 75, 70 percent. It's still going to because that banned. Yeah, I mean, it's banded, and it's going to do a lot of damage. We're going to see the Tyranitar hard switch out. That's actually a really good call because you can get the sand damage up once again later. We're going to see the Rotom Wash come back in, nearly full HP. Let's You're pretty much going to, this. yep. Oh, oh protect oh, Iron protect. Bundle! Okay. Interesting play here. We're going to see Outrage, yeah, is Outrage disabled. disabled. We're going to have to see the struggle. And oh, it's confused. it's confused! That's, that's how it interacts? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. That's crazy. Player off going into the Iron Bundle slot, not able to get anything off there. We're going to see... Wow! I did not realize that that was the interaction, that if you disable uh, Outrage, it just uh, automatically I didn't know that. confuses it. And we can see that Rotom switch out back into that Tyranitar. Oh, this is that bad. That Iron Bundle's low! This is bad! That damage is going to matter eventually. Yep. No, that ship damage will most likely get the Iron Bundle in this turn. Freeze Drive Freeze going dry. into the Tyranitar. That is going to pick up the KO. Now you kind of have to hope if Screamtail is going for the player, if you have to hope that it misses, this is the turn. Outrage. Uh, no, this is actually going to be a does struggle from the Garchomp. If it bypasses the Confuse, nope, it's going to nope, take self-confusion damage, bringing it to just in the yellow under 50% HP. And wow, that Iron Bundle is gone. Now play rough. 90% accurate, guarantee hits. Oh, this is this is an unfortunate situation. Chip damage onto the Scream Tail, so it went from 47 to 34. You're still going to be able to take a few more turns of that. But here's here's the problem: is you have that Rodom on this the opposing side. This struggle damage is scary. Yeah, you can go for Thunderbolts 100% accurate of the time now because of the Steel Terra. So you can bypass that Ground type immunity, and you can pretty much just get guaranteed damage. Look at all the things yep, on the field. So Move disabled. <laughs> Tailwind, <laughs> the sandstorm. No way. That's that's BM as hell. Ooh. That is BM as hell. So you got, <laughs> we got the confusion coming through one more time. It is gonna bypass yep, the confusion check. And it goes into the Rotom. That does decent damage, but it takes that recoil. Yeah, it, it only did just maybe 25%. Play rough coming through, just doing chip damage, and then that that rough skin damage is actually pretty decent. That Thunderbolt goes in. is gonna get that the confirm. Jacob was in a really tough position that first turn. That immediate loss of his... What was it, Bax? Was it first turn, Bax? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was, right? I don't remember. Right. No, you know, that, was, that was the last game. That oh, was the last right, game right, right, right. That, that had happened. But that was just good pivoting. If you don't... So this, this is the thing, because I've had to fight Jacob Linder like twice in the past two weeks. Uh, <laughs> if you have a choice, choice Pokemon, your team struggles oh, against literally. Screamtail. Like... Ugh. Like, literally and metaphorically speaking, because you just have to always play around the fact that you're going to get struggled, and you have to constantly pivot. Oh, yeah. And then if you're not pivoting right, or if you don't have the right mons to deal with his other Pokemon, especially Corviknight in the back, then it's not looking pretty good. So we're going to have to see a game through right here. Especially with that base, pretty high base speed on that Screamtail. That booster energy is going to be scary. Yeah, you'd think, I mean, Screamtail's, like, notable traits are it's... Uh, pretty high HP stat, really good bulk in defense and special defense. It's pretty lackluster in its attack, but you know, it, it also having Howl just increases its uh, physical attack up by one stage every time you use it, and your partner, so you, you know, in combination with the team synergy, you can actually increase your play rough damage by a decent amount. Exactly. But the, you know, the the key the key part about the Scream Tail is its is its speed is that yep. it can at naturally outspeed with the booster energy speed variant like iron bundles which is like super important scary stuff because if you don't have booster booster speed bundle or booster speed man um flutter main you're pretty much outspeeding everything i'm pretty sure i i can't say guaranteed but it's pretty sure it's also calced for like choice band too yeah. uh not choice band um I think it was like choice um dragon ball dragon ball yeah, I mean. okay I, I would assume it's also um oh yeah to those phantom too. forces are those phantom forces hit like a truck yeah because i mean if you if you have a scream tail and you want to beat um 
Justin Tang's Knoxville Ch uh, Chanpol team is pretty much just like a good way to beat it right there because you, oh, yeah. you you hit player off into the into the Chan Pao slot or you hit the player off into the the Dragon Ball slot and if it tears you just tear water you're fine and you're faster than anyway with the choice band you're you're you're, you're solid everything just blows up <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's a good way to put it oh interesting oh. so I don't know if that was a timeout on think... on character select huh. I don't know. I mean, it might have been close, so we'll have to see. I wasn't able to see the reaction. Did Theo run out of time? I don't know. So we'll see player cams this time. Oh, true. Yeah, we had player cams. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Jacob on the left. The only yeah! Oh, Obama there Snow! It is. Obama Snow! That bundle immediately getting that defense boost from that snow warning. Yeah, Same with the and that's snow. that's gonna matter, especially with the Corbin out in this field, because if you're if you're Obama Snow, so the Obama Snow set is folk. Oh, so the focus set is on the Obama Snow. You have protect Blizzard, Leaf Storm, Aurora. So you're pretty much. I mean, you're gonna live the iron the you're iron head from the Carbonite anyway. Yeah. You know, regardless. Is, does he double target? Exactly, exactly. Um, but the thing is, the the Rotom Wash is. Not really able to hit the Obama Snow for super effective damage. Not even like regular effective damage because Hydro Pump gets resisted by Grass types, Same thing and with then you have, you know, Thunderbolt gets resisted by the Grass. Uh, oh yeah, they also the Grass types, duh. Yeah. So Obama Snow is not really the target. The target more than likely is going to be the Iron Bundle here. We're going to see the Corviknight switching out. Mostly likely just doesn't want to take those three hits of damage from the Blizzards. 100% accurate in the snow. Like oh, swap yeah, You're I like that. Yep, now the 100% uh, accuracy bypass check on the Blizzard is going to be gone. Chip damage coming through on sand damage each turn now. And Rotom Wash is going to go for the Terra Electric, Electric. boosting Ooh. up the Thunderbolt damage. That's cute. I like that. Oh, We're going to see a Counter Terra. Okay. So what is this going to be on? Probably a Bomb of Snow? Yeah, so this is going to be Terra Water or Bomb of Snow. Which is, wait... Okay, well then, <laughs> Jacob can hit that for super effective then. Yeah, literally. So we just turn to resist and hit yeah. super effective. Okay, one. Blizzard coming through. Unfortunate Blizzard miss on the Tyranitar. It's actually Easy really good damage. damage. So the thing, the thing about losing the so if you change from uh, Water Electric to Terra Electric, you're losing that Water Typing that actually kind of hurts you in some way. Yeah. Wait, what? Going right into the bundle, one shotting it. Wait, what did the Iron Bundle do this turn? Bundle was uh, Blizzard that missed on Tyranitar. Oh, and, and then Lee Storm, Storm comes into the... Oh, it doesn't kill! kill! It doesn't kill! And now it's minus two. It doesn't have the defense buff either. ba dum ba da uh oh <laughs> Whoa-oh. <laughs> okay, and now that but, Focus Sash is gone. Yeah, and the Focus Sash is gone. And now you already know that the Ronin Wash is faster than the Obama Snow. So now you have to worry about taking that non-Sash... Electric type Terra Electric Thunderbolt damage. I don't think you even can. <laughs> Probably not. That's scary. Okay. Fluttermane actually coming onto the field is going to be really significant. Proto boost in the special attack. Yeah, so you can't Terra the Tyranitar. You're going to have to eat the fact that it's it's a it's a dark type at this point. Yep. You probably just want to take the hit. You know, you have the sand boosting special defense uh, buff. You have the assault vest up. You're probably going to be living a hit from the Dazzling Gleamer Moonblast. You just have to live with the fact that you're going to eat a hit. You're probably exactly. going to get the, the KO onto the Rodom unless it switches out because it doesn't have protects, or you're just going to have to live with the fact. Um, you still have the Abomasnow on the side. You could switch it out to reset the Leaf Storm debuff, but then you're also bringing something in. Might not be great. It really depends. Exactly. And a good thing to note for Theo's side, he can't set up that Aurora Veil because it's still this sand. Okay. King Gamut is going to be coming in. That is a little interesting to see right here. So we're going to see the Moonblast Moon going into the Tyranitar slot. It's actually just wow. doing just above half. That might be calc specifically yeah. for that situation. <laughs> Thunderbolt going into this assault vested King Gambit. That's about doing wow. 25%. It's a good chunk. Rock slide Rock coming slide. through. Oh. Wow, that's huh. respectable damage. Uh, just above, uh, just below 50%. Still not able to get the KO into the 50%. Oh, this are you kidding me? Do you two, see that? Two. It could take. Uh, we can't. We can't. We can't talk about that because we don't want the players to uh, hear that. Oh yeah. 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 Yeah, that, that's actually really important. If anyone did see the... Rotom might live a little bit longer than you might think. Keyword might. Yeah, Keyword. it might, might, Keyword. might, Keyword. might. 
I didn't I didn't see what the players did, but we have to you have to keep in, in mind that the Sucker Punch is actually coming through. We might see a Dazzling Gleam here to pick up the both oh, KO. Yeah, yep. Dazzling Gleam gonna get Oh it oh. doesn't KO! Ooh. It doesn't KO into the Tyranitar. The spread damage on the non-Terra. Dazzling Gleam does not get the KO oh, into wow. this Tyranitar. What and now did Justin select. But the thing is it could go for a crunch of the Fluttermane, or it could go for a low kick in the King Gambit. It's gonna go yep. for the low kick and into King the King Gambit. Gambit. King yep, Gambit's it is gone. gone. That is a one well, not a one shot, but it basically Almost just KOs. Like <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, it took a lot think, of damage to last turn. I think it would have died either way. I, yeah. think it, I think that low kick would have died. Oh, no, yeah. I mean, it pretty much it's probably Calc to just get the KO yeah. anyway. So, very tough situation here for Theo Tran. You got one Pokemon in the back. Theo is at half health, but he does have that special attack boost, not the speed boost. Yeah, the problem is really you, hard. The problem is you can't really break the wall of uh, Fluttermane. Not Fluttermane. Uh, Screamtail and Corviknight. It's going to oh, be... Yeah. Rather hard. You could get the KO onto the Tyranitar unless it switches out for the Fluttermane. Um, Abomasaur coming back in. Resetting yeah, that weather. Yeah, uh, it's going to be super awkward now for, for Theo Tran because you kind of just need to get the KO on the Fluttermane. Yep. Abomasaur, I didn't see what Justin had in the back. I don't think it threatens it too much. Let's see what happens. Fluttermane should be going first, and then it should be uh, one of the Corviknight or the Tyranitar and then the Abomasaur going later on. Oh, Fluttermane Protect attacks. Fluttermane. Okay, so this is probably a Blizzard coming through from the Obama Snow, assuming it can hit, live the hit. Crunch going Crunch into the Obama the Snow. Snow. Going to do a decent amount of damage. damage. Oh my god. Even through, like, the Snow buff, That's, too. Wow. Yep, Fluttermane protects from the Iron Head. Blizzard coming Blizzard. through. Jesus decent damage. chip. Freeze, 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 freeze. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't think it did. I think it would have shown earlier. So, guaranteed the uh, Screamtail coming through. No more Terra left on Jacob Linder's side. Already using it on the Rotom Wash for the Terra Electric. Both um, of Theo's Pokemon are at half health, and Justin still is pretty healthy Pokemon. Yeah, but here's the problem is now the... Uh, yeah, this, this is checkmate. So, the problem is Ooh, Screamtail can Encore the Protect ah. and lock the Fluttermane in for the rest of the game. It was a checkmate situation yep. because... You either you either get the damage off into the Corviknight, or you you trade it with the the Iron Head. It gets a KO. Exactly. You live the turn, but you get Encore to protect for the rest of the game. Yep. And then you get the KO. So Encore going into the Scream Tail that is going to be locking into the protect for the remainder of this game, most likely. You have the Obama Snow still trying to do as much damage as possible. Even with that defense buff, it's still going to take a decent chunk. Of yep. Greybird is likely going to pick up the KO here. Yep. That is going to be wow. pick up the KO. There is no world in which yep. Theo Tran can win anymore because you can pretty much just disable. disable. You can you can oh. encore disable. You can you can literally just howl BM oh, Iron yeah. Head to. Oh. Oh no! Nah, nah, don't oh, do that! Don't, don't do, do that! Don't do that! Don't, don't do that! Battle right. canceled, yep. and. Jacob Linder Jacob coming back from 1-0 to win 2-0 in round two. We'll have round three pairings coming up as soon as possible. Probably I don't know if that now. was the last one. I we'll have comment. Yeah, I think that might have been the last Round three pairings one. already? Gotcha. Okay, so we'll have commentary rolling in and out. Anthony most likely has to play. Uh, I, I got to buy this round. That's why. Yeah, let me do the transition. So Anthony most likely has to play round three. I'll probably be on stream production for this round next round unless anyone wants to join me on commentary. We'll be right back for round three pairings. Stay tuned.